Hey, what's happening guys? I thought today we would take a look at this little display here. This is pretty tiny as you can tell. It's 0.96 inch. It uses the uh, ST7735S display driver and as you can see, it's full color. We are looking at 80 by 160 pixels and don't look at this and see SCL SDA and think it's I squared C it's not it is a uh, it is SPI only they haven't implemented any I squared C on this breakout just yet now I'm gonna put a link down below to the data sheet and the Arduino libraries but uh, there's one thing that you have to ignore. If you try and run this at 3.3 volts as they tell you, it's not going to work. I don't know what exactly they've done. I believe that this is a little voltage regulator here. can't quite tell because I can't read it. It's too small. But it only works correctly at 5 volts. So it is good straight through for any of your Arduino projects. Now the ones we're looking at today are from Amazon and that's not the only place you can get them. They are also advertised from a company called buydisplay.com which is a, a Chinese seller. I don't know anything about the ones from Buy Display, but I am assuming they're the same because here is our pictures from the uh, Amazon ones and you get two of them for the seventeen dollars okay now let me go and grab the other website for buy display hold on okay here is the buy display dot com website and here is the same board and if we look at the back picture here oh there we go J3Y Nope, J3Y is just a uh, transistor. So, I don't know. Anyway, but the backs look the same as we look at this one. And then we can look at the, uh, well, not that. <laughs> look at that one. Yeah, they look the same. So, I don't know if they're the same or not. And yes, it is, uh, oops, wrong button again. It is cheaper to get them here at 467 about half price yeah your choice but uh you know you're gonna wait a month to get these so and if they don't work you're kind of out of luck with amazon you know you can always return them so here is the uh, interfacing diagram it's, it's really simple s clock goes to 13 uh, SDA goes to 11, reset goes to 8, uh, DC goes to 9, and chip select goes to 10. That's really all there is to it. I'm gonna find the right one again here. Okay. So here's the data sheet, and it is the ER-TFT-M0.96-1 from East Rising is the name of the company. And if we roll down here through all this lovely stuff, You, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There are our interface pins. But what we want is electrical characteristics it's telling us power supply voltage is a maximum of 3.3 volts. But I'll show you it at 3.3 volts, and it really just doesn't work. It works perfectly, though, at 5 volts. So. Let's go back over the board and take a look. Here it is running on a nano at 3.3 volts. And you can see there's like artifacts in the display. And it's just absolutely, come on, my power supply is turning off. There we go. It just doesn't look right, right? I was wondering if it maybe it was, you know, 
because even though I'm running it at 3.3 volts, you know, VCC, we have the 5 volt logic here. But that is just not the case. How do I know that? Well, let's uh, swap this over here to 5 volts. If it'll go in there, there we go. Then I can power it back up. And at 5 volts, it is perfectly clean, clear, and crisp. Not a problem at all. That looks good. So that is it running on the Nano. Here is it running on an Uno. There you can see. Hooked up to the old Uno. And we can actually bring them both in here. You can see them both running there. So it runs on the Nano and the Uno equally well, even though it doesn't say in the data sheet that it will run from a Nano. It runs perfectly fine off of the Nano. And here you can see the wiring is really simple. We're just using uh, 13, 11, 10, 9, and 8. Uh, pin 13 is S clock. Pin 11 is data. Pardon me. Uh, pin 10 is chip select. Pin 9 is uh, DC, data command. And pin 8 is our reset pin. We're not using the backlight pin. I don't know if this particular library doesn't support it. But, I mean, you don't really need it with a TFT anyway. It looks pretty good. So let's talk about uh, how to set it up in the Arduino IDE. It is pretty simple. All right, so here's, here's the code I used to set this up. And you can see it's really simple, and I'll put a link to it down below. So we start out with four libraries. We have the UTFT, which is to drive the display. We have our I squared C, which we need for the BME sensor. We have this Adafruit uh, master sensor library, which I have tweaked, and also the BME 280 library from Adafruit. I have tweaked these so that they output a string. That, like for temperature, it says temperature colon, then the value, and then an F for you know Fahrenheit in my case. I just got tired of doing everything in every program, so I adjusted the library. If you decide to run this on yours, it's not going to work that way. But uh, that's where we're at right now. <laughs> okay, so then we set small font. It has small font and a big font, so we're just using small fonts. Then we're going to set our sea level pressure here. You can just look it up online. Here comes a guy to weed eat around the house. Always when I'm doing a video. Lovely. Then we're going to initialize... Uh, the TFT called my GLCD using the driver with the pins 11, 13, 10, 8, and 9 like we talked about. We're also going to initialize the BME 280. Then down here in our setup we will begin the LCD. We will uh, set the font size. We will begin the BME sensor. Down here we'll get our values. Again, you can't use these as strings if you don't have my tweak libraries, which I'm not making available because I'm not proud of them. They are horrible, horrible uh, examples of programming. I am not a programmer. Then we're going to clear the screen. We're going to fill the screen with black. We're going to set our first our front color as red. And then on the next line, sorry, I had to scratch my ear. We're going to draw a filled round rectangle. So it's a rectangle with round corners. It begins at 10, 17 towards the upper left and ends at 149, 72 towards the lower right. Then we're going to set our, our font color to white, our background color to red, and we're going to print the temperature and it's going to be centered on line 20. Then we're going to set our color to green, background still at red, we're going to print our pressure. It will be centered on line 45. 
Then we're going to set our color to blue, background still at red, and we're going to print our humidity centered on line 57. Actually, yeah, I'll just leave it there. So that's it. We wait five seconds and we do it all again. Let's go take a look. So there's our setup. You can see how easy it is. We've got VCC going to 5 volts, ground goes to ground. Our clock goes to SCO, our data goes to SDA. We'll just plug her in here. We clear the screen. Hello, McFly. Draw a rectangle and put our values on there. I know that looks kind of purple, but that's it. That is a. Uh, that is blue. White, green, red. I know I'm not very well lined up there, but uh, I think it's good enough for this demo to show you what can be done with this little uh, TFT LCD. Pretty neat. I, know, I realize it's more expensive than your standard little OLED this size, but 65,000 colors and uh, completely graphics capable. And it even has onboard RAM, so it can store some stuff. So it, it's... I don't know. It's probably worth a little bit more money. It's up to you to decide how much it's worth. I'm just here to show you stuff. So there will be links down below to everything we talked about. That's about it for this. If you guys enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.